LaRusso on third and seven, slings it near side in traffic, and it's incomplete. Looking for Jonathan Duhard in on the coverage. That's DeAndre Ferris, one of the team captains. Lost leads. So here's Davis Shanley making start number three on the season, and he starts it off with a completion for a first down. Big play for the Hilltoppers to open the game. That's Jaquez Sloan on the reception, brought down by Pat Toll. Shanley with a clean pocket, throws near side, and a catch is made by Jaquez Sloan to move the sticks. Uh, they said that the starting running back wasn't pass protecting well enough, and so they put Appleberry in there. And um, so. Coming out of the timeout, West Kentucky goes with a shovel pass to the tight end, Mike Dean, who bangs his way in the end zone. So Western Kentucky for the second time this season marches down the field and scores on their opening drive of the game. Here's Strong, Strong has that first down on the ground for Old Dominion. Nice third down conversion. Yellow Russa coming off a game a week ago in which she threw for career high in attempts against Marshall. Looking deep here, will now tuck off and run. A nice room as he gets past the linebacker. Holt slides down in Western Kentucky territory. The official will mark him down at the 40. Times when the quarterback scrambles, he's got some openings. Here's Knight again. Knight inside the 30, dropped at the 28. A first down run by the freshman, Masai White. Play action for LaRusso, floats one up for Fulgham, who reaches up and comes down with it inside the four. And the running game opened up that play. Strong looking for the equalizer, dives in the end zone for the touchdown. What a drive by Old Dominion. Appleberry in the backfield. A freshman from Atlanta, Georgia. Gets the carry and Appleberry finds a seam Across midfield, dragging defenders, stopped at the Old Dominion 42. What a run from Gino Appleberry. Big explosive play from Appleberry. Shanley to the tight end. Kyle Fortenberry for first down. Again on the stop for the Monarchs. Tempo again from Western. And this time Shanley hit and dropped in the backfield. Old Dominion will blitz Shanley to the near sideline, a diving catch and falling out of bounds inside the 20 is Pearson. And from the spot shift, he's short. They're just two for nine this season on fourth down. That's Sloan in motion. It's a handoff to Appleberry, and Appleberry is stopped short of the line to gain. And the Old Dominion defense holds on fourth down as Jordan Young again. Russa three for four. So far in this first quarter, we'll throw on first down, and there is Duhart who moves the sticks all the way up to the Old Dominion 40. Ben Holt with the stop. Here's Strong again, a patient run. Plows his way into Western Kentucky territory on second and seven. Clean pocket for La Russa. Far side of the field. This could be dangerous for Fulgham. And Fulgham runs out of bounds inside the 20. He was wide open. Drell Green chases him out of bounds. Here's the freshman at the five. Brought down by Key, just shy of the goal line. Flag comes in. First and goal from the one with the clock winding down. Knight searching for his first career touchdown, and he's in the end zone, and Old Dominion takes the lead for the first time tonight. With Samuel in the backfield. And Samuel gets tripped up a yard behind the line of scrimmage. Five on the play clock. Old Dominion does not blitz. Shanley over the middle and a first down reception made at the 41 by Lucky Jackson. His first catch of the night. Shanley good protection. Fires caught by Fordberry. He gets popped immediately and that the 
spinning on the spot. It's good for a first down. Now they used to run on the field. Now they run down the wide area on the side. If they run into a coach, that's the sideline. Wow, how open is Jackson? And he can't come over the catch. And a late flag is thrown. This appears to be pass interference on Jadarian Hall. Shanley, a lot of room off that left side. Throws for Lucky Jackson and another first down for West Kentucky as Jackson stopped at the 15. So on second and seven, it's an RPO to the tight end, Dean, who already has a touchdown catch tonight. And Dean fights his way down to the five. Second, second and goal back to Appleberry. Plunges in the end zone for a touchdown. His second touchdown of the season. 57, second quarter, West Kentucky and Old Dominion. Big game for both of these teams. Dent locked at 14 apiece. Dangerous return man Isaiah Harper across the 30 and knocked out of bounds by the kicker, Ranella. LaRusa drifts out to the left, puts some touch on it, throws it out of bounds. Tight end Dante Anthony, closest one to it. Old Dominion one for two tonight on third down. Monarchs have third and nine. LaRusa fires in traffic, incomplete for Nick Rice. His long this season is 48. Kick is up. He has the leg, and the kick is good. What a kick by the sophomore, Nick Rice. He puts Old Dominion back in front, 17 to 14. Two on the play clock. Shanley wants a deep ball. He's looking for Sloan, and Sloan can't come up with it. Here's another flag. Justin Noy, the safety in on the coverage. 70 yards rushing for the Hilltoppers tonight. They go tempo, a lot of room for Samuel. Gets popped at the 30 by Lance Boykin, but he moves the sticks. Empty set here for Shanley on third and five. Shanley scans the field. It's a high throw and it's incomplete. Looking for Sloan. 31 yard field goal attempt for Alex Ranella. Attempted his first one last week. He missed it from 50 yards. And this one is good. Well, Coach Sanford said the kicking competition is open, and Alex Ranella will now be the guy moving forward, and he drills that one. To Division One. From the 28th, here's Kashawn Strong on the carry. And Strong, here's another late flag. Strong is down at the 31. Again with a nice cut. He spins, stays on his feet. He's in Western Kentucky territory. Oh, Tackled inside the 40 by D'Angelo Malone. Speed option, the pitch to Davis. And Davis shakes free momentarily and is still able to pick up three yards. Loose ball. The ball came out and Evan Sainer says that he recovered the football and he did. He's to the game, win the turnover battle. That's the first turnover in the game. Shanley throws to the tight end, Dean, and Dean at the 35. Look at Dean go all the <laughs> way up to the 41. It takes a host of Monarchs to bring him down. They've got a lot of good options here. Here's Samuel, and Samuel with a first down for the Hilltoppers. Dropped at the Monarch 44. A good balanced offense for the Hilltoppers tonight. Rolls out to the left here. Now will take off. Shanley with a first down run as he spun down inside the 35. It's about him a lot. He hadn't made many tackles yet. This is about the time where he makes an impact play. It's a screen to the tight end. Dean, and he picks up a block. And Dean inside the 20, shoved out of bounds inside the 15 by Sean Carter. Old Dominion, all kinds of trouble defensively getting lined up correctly, and it's a throw to the tight end, Fortenberry for the touchdown. His second of the season. Wow, they had options there. Three receivers shifted out to the left, and they only had two defenders on them, and those receivers were waving over there. They wanted the ball. Larusa to throw on first down. Now he's in trouble. Steps up. He shakes free. He's got some room. 
trying to avoid, picks up a huge block. He has a first down. He tried to escape the hands of the nickel Darden. Larusa to the sideline and a juggling catch is made by Duhart for a gain of 14 yards. Only the third catch, rather, that's only the second catch in the first half from Duhart. So second and 10 for the Monarchs. Larusa steps up. This will be the final play of the first half, and it ends in a sack by Jawan Jones. Here's Appleberry, and Appleberry with the first down run for the Hilltoppers. That's Pearson in motion. <laughs> Looked like he was going to take a snap. Shanley instead will throw to him, and it's incomplete, just out of his reach. First and 10 for Old Dominion from their own 32. Play action for LaRusa. LaRusa launches it deep down to Fulgram, who makes the catch and runs out of bounds in Western Kentucky territory at the 44. That's his game high, fifth catch, 75 yards. Here's a handoff to the freshman, Will Knight, who's gobbled up in the backfield by Ben Holt, a loss of a yard. Third and four for the Monarchs, one for three tonight. Now here's another conversion for Kashawn Strong, and Key again shoves him out of bounds. LaRusso hands it off to Strong, and Strong again breaking tackles inside the 10. What a physical run by Strong. Play develop, and then he cut through the hole, and then after that, he broke tackles to get inside. Go back on the ground to Strong, why not? But this time he is stopped, loses a yard or two. Three wide receivers at the bottom of the screen. Here's Knight, and Knight dropped by Ben Holt. Old Dominion keeps it on the ground to Strong, and Strong is dropped by Key at the three-yard line. So LaRusso will throw on the move, throws it back across his body, and it's broken up. And off to Appleberry, and he's stonewalled at the line of scrimmage. Anley throwing right into the wind. And it looks like it's, you know, 20 miles an hour out there. It's not a subtle wind. He's in trouble here. A flag is thrown, and Shanley will just get rid of it, and it's dropped by uh -huh. Sloan. But this, this could be a safety, depending on if it's a holding call in the end zone. LaRusso with a shovel pass to Strong, and Strong will have the first down. All right, looks like he's a yard short. Fourth and less than a yard. And they will throw, and there is a first down for Duhart, who coughs up the football. And the Monarchs say that they recovered. We'll see if Western can get some offense going into the win. They haven't been very successful so far in this half. Shanley hit as he throws, but he puts it on target to his tight end, Mike Dean. From the Hilltoppers. Shanley this time will keep it. Shanley runs out of bounds inside the 25. That's good for a gain of 13 yards. Appleberry the back in the backfield on third and three. That's Dean in motion. Play action. Looks for Dean in the end zone and it's incomplete. Oh. The 33-yard field goal attempt for Ranella. He made one from 41 earlier. Snap is down, the kick is up, and it is good. And now Western Kentucky adds on to their lead, now up by eight. Here Strong again with a nice cut. Has a first down as he was hit by Key. First down run by Strong. Dead last in Conference USA and converting these. Third and eight, LaRusa in trouble and down he goes. D'Angelo Malone with his second sack of the season. As the freshman Garland LaFrance in the backfield, here is a screen to Jacor Pearson and Pearson down the sideline with a nice jump cut. Tackled from behind at the 40. Two touchdowns, no turnovers. 
Wants a sideline and Jackson redeems himself. He makes the catch, but he's about three yards shy of the line of gain. One on one coverage at the bottom of your screen for LaRusso to work with. And he will throw. Those in traffic almost intercepted by Ben Holt. He pops up, he looks for the flag. A flag is thrown. LaRusso over the middle, drills one in to Jonathan Duhart. LaRusso with a clean pocket, looks for Fulgram and he drops it. I think you can count the lack of scoring on the weather. It's really changed dramatically from the first half to the second half. Samuel really tried to lower his head, but Jordan Young had other ideas. What a stick that was. Second and five, here's another handoff to Strong, who leans forward to the 40 from the spot. That's a first down. Old Dominion going tempo. Strong with a first down run. Crosses midfield. Four wide for La Russa. La Russa pump fakes, nailed, loses the football, scooped up by Ben Holt. Ben Holt picks up a block oh, down the sideline and he tiptoes out of bounds <laughs> around the 27. Just inches away from a scoop and score. He had nobody in front of him and he didn't know where he was on the sideline. It just ran out of bounds. He had nothing but the black end zone. He could see the black end zone in front of him and stepped out. Here's Shanley, hands it off to LaFrance, who's gobbled up, lost a yard. Zimenez, that's only a second tackle, came into this game, leading the FBS in sacks with eight and a half. He's in trouble here, and Shanley will go down. That time he was brought down by Jeremy Miser. Empty set here for Shanley. Shanley pressured again. There's Zimenez, and it's a low throw incomplete. Appleberry. Play action. He wants a sideline. He wants Duhart, and Duhart goes up and snatches it for the first down. Duhart absolutely torched Virginia Tech in the win against the Hokies. He had three touchdowns in that game. LaRusso steps up and fires incomplete. Fogum closest retrieve, receiver and a very late flag is thrown as Ruffin was in on the coverage. And remember, he's going into the wind. You don't want to float one. You want to throw it on a line. LaRusso with a soft touch finds his man. This is Harper. Harper at the 10, at the five, and is stopped by Key at the two. Strong in the back in the backfield. Handoff strong in the end zone for the touchdown. Touchdown number two tonight for Kashawn Strong. What a career night he's having. But they spread things out as well, which could leave a gap for Strong. They're going to throw it. So LaRusso with time. LaRusso in the end zone, and it is caught to tie the game at 27. Oh. Brown with the reception. I think they're watching on TV now. <laughs> they got 540 left in the game. Sloan on the return. Angles to the near side. He hits a seam. This could be a big return for Sloan. Tiptoes out of bounds around midfield. A very late flag is thrown all the way back around the 36. Minus two yards of offense. Wow. This will help them with a first down run by Gino Appleberry, tackled by Brickhouse. Their team has really had much success with the win at their back throwing the ball. Shanley floats one for Sloan, and Sloan shoved out of bounds in Old Dominion territory by Davilia. Plays down on the field. And yeah, you saw one of them blowing in his hands. I don't know if that's a signal or if his hands are cold. Big run up the middle for Samuel. And Western Kentucky in business here. First and 10, under four minutes left in the game. Seen it about four times tonight. That's what happens when the wind gusts up to 30 miles an hour at the stadium. A first down run for Samuel. 
first and goal for the Hilltoppers. The back in the backfield. And we're inside two minutes now, so they're eating up some clock as well. Handoff to Samuel, and Samuel stops for no gain. Third and goal from the two. This is Appleberry in the backfield with the two tight end set. Handoff to Appleberry with room off the left side, and Appleberry fights his way in the end zone for the go-ahead touchdown with 1.37 left in the game. They went with the power. About the freshman from Atlanta, Georgia, Gino Appleberry as the extra point, it's up, it's good. Appleberry, his second touchdown of the night. The meaning is not only do they have to drive it all the way down the field, but they've got to do it into the wind. This will be returnable for Harper. The Conference USA Special Teams Player of the Year last year gets popped pretty good as he crosses the 20. Blake LaRusso, he was magical against Virginia Tech in the win. Will he have magic up his sleeve here as he dumps it down? This will be a loss of two. They, they made that rule several years ago. So on second and 16, LaRusso over the middle, a leaping catch made by Duhart. Forty-five seconds. Larusa surveys the defense, throws in traffic, and it's almost intercepted. It was deflected, and Jarrell Green almost caught it off the deflection. And they still were able to make a play. So here's the game, and the Monarchs keep it on the ground, and Strong lunges forward for the first down, stopping the clock momentarily with 38 seconds. Five wide for LaRusa. LaRusa down the field and what a catch in Western Kentucky territory. First catch of the game for the tight end, Keon Whites, the freshman from Garner, North Carolina. So 21 seconds left. LaRusa again goes deep and it is caught at the 15, at the 10, at the five with 11 seconds left. Old Dominion has a timeout and they will take it. As that time it was called by Isaiah Harper. Spread it out again. I don't think they want to run the ball. Here comes the blitz in the end zone. Touchdown, Old Dominion with nine seconds left in the game. Wow, what a drive. Loan the return man for Western Kentucky. You know, all the fans that left, if Western wins this game, they're going to go, I was there. Very short, gets hung up in the wind. This could be dangerous. Oh, wow. And it's brought in by West Kentucky at the 30 as the secondary. Secondary is all the way back at their own 30. It's a handoff with five seconds left. Here's from bounce? room for LaFrance, and LaFrance is down with two seconds left. Old Dominion sends Travis Folger back to the goal line to play defense over the middle, and it's dropped, oh. and that's how There's this game will head into overtime. Flag. A flag is back around the line of scrimmage, though, at the 40. A game-winning field goal. His career long is 50. Kick is up, doesn't have the distance, and we are heading to overtime. Wow. Old Dominion with costly penalties, so now the ball is at the 35-yard line, and this will be another field goal attempt coming up here for Western Kentucky. Now it's a 52 yard attempt. The last time he hit it at the base of the case, so he's five yards closer. It didn't look like he caught it. So if he catches it cleanly, this could be within his range. Alex Ranella for the win. The kick is up and Old Dominion has a return man back there. This is Harper, Harper at the 25. Harper with some room here. Harper in midfield. Are you Harper me? at the 30. Can he stay on his feet? Harper at the 15 oh. and is out of bounds and a flag is down at the 20. Are we going to have a third untimed down? Or is that a hold? Wow, what a return by Harper. 25 yard field goal attempt for the win here for the sophomore Nick Rice. He's one for one tonight. He's good from 45. So Bailey Kate is the holder. Broughton Hatcher is the long snapper, kicking into the win. So Nick Rice for the win. The kick is up, and it's good. And Old Dominion picks up their first conference victory on the season. Are you kidding me? Oh, what a...
crazy ending for a game. Wow. Three untimed downs at the end of regulation with a tie ball game. For a minute there, it looked like Western Kentucky had a chance to win it. 